like. And grabbing your bigger crochet hook, we are going to chain three. Into the ring, we want to work three double crochets. So we yarn over, go in, pull up, pull through two, and pull through two. I'm going to assume that you know how to do a double crochet. We need three all together, so we need to do two more. So you're going to have your chain three, and then three double crochet. I'm going to do a chain three. We're going to slip stitch down into the middle. And we're going to work a chain three. So we're going to start that again. Chain three. Three double crochet into the middle of the ring. into the middle. So that is the, it doesn't look like it, but that is the bottom part of the butterfly. It will all come together when we pull that ring closed. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do the, the bigger section, which is the top section of the, the um, wings. So we're going to chain four, We're going to work three trebles, so we're going to yarn over twice, go down into the ring, pull up, pull it, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And we need to do three of those all together. So we're twice, through two, through two, through two. Two. So we've got our chain four and three trebles. We're going to chain four and then slip stitch down into the ring. And we're going to do that again. So we want to repeat the, the wing that we just did. So we're going to chain four, we're going to yarn over twice and do three trebles. Chain four, three trebles. We're going to chain three, and then we're going to slip stitch into the ring. We're going to leave about two to three inches, just enough to sew in. And we're going to cut our yarn. moment we've got a squash butterfly, it's not really anything at the moment. So what we want to do is grab the middle, the, the yarn that we've been working over, and we're going to pull it closed and that's when the magic happens. So at first it's going to look like, yeah, like that, it's going to be all squashed again. Shut. Don't worry if you can't get it shut completely because when we make the little bit that goes through the middle and the antennas, it will cover that up. So now it ends. And I know it doesn't look like a butterfly at the moment. Sometimes. And we're just going 
to stitch that into the back of the stitches to hide our, our tail, tail. So now we have our little butterfly. Oh, it looks like it probably use it as a flower, I guess. But we're going to turn this one into a butterfly, so we're going to grab our yarn that we want to use. Or Center pull ball. Where is the center? Here we go. Grab our yarn and we're just going to make a slip knot, leave a little bit of a tail. I've just realized this is the same color as my background, but we're only going to do a chain, so it's not going to be too hard. Just figure out what I'm doing. I'm going to use our smaller crochet hook. And I did a chain of 20, but if you want to change that, then you're most welcome to. So I'm just going to make a chain. And you want to do them quite tight. You don't want them to stand up, you don't want them to be floppy. So after you've got your 20 chains, you're going to finish off. So you're going to cut your yarn. You don't need to cut this very long because we actually might need to trim it. So finish that off. Pull tight. And then pull tight on the other end as well. We're going to trim off the bits and pieces. And we're going to find the two treble bits. They're going to be at the top, which they'll be bigger than the double crochet sections. We grab our chain. I know it's really small, but it doesn't have to be very big. We're just going to fold it in half. And we're going to put part of the treble on one side and then double crochet on one side. And then we're going to have trebles on this side and double crochet down the bottom. We just want to put the yarn. Okay, so the Sorry, the tails need to be at the treble end. I'm just going to turn that sideways, it's easier. You're going to put the loop around the back. We just sort of do not know what this is called, if it's a knot or whatever. But you're going to thread your tails. It's like adding fringe to a scarf. Pop your tails through that loop. And it's going to be all weird at the front, but that's fine. We're going to pull this tight. And you want to... I said it's going to be a bit weird. make sure the antennas are at the top so they're at the top where the treble sections are here and here. I'm going to pull that as tight as you can get it. So see how now it looks like it's the right size but before it looked really tiny and it's like that's really not going to fit. And luckily the little butterfly doesn't have any feelings but we need to pull these wings so cool. Pull these wings out. Pull her. Pull the wings out. And then pull that tight again. Then we're just going to trim off the topsy. And trim them off, and you can trim them off wherever you like. Just make the line really short. If you wouldn't believe it, I actually changed my background this morning from the dark grey to the cream because I've been using the dark grey a lot. Now I'm using a cream yarn and it doesn't stand out in the background. <laughs> 